The support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. And they're probably the most useful class in the game. We got two of them now. Awesome! Wait, where are they from? I'd like to know. Uh, we'll check it out later. Okay. New facility available. Workshop. Each workshop adds five engineers to our staff. Hmm. Adjacency bonus. 7% refund on resources used when building vehicles, foundry projects, and facilities. Commander to the Situation Room. Panic has Commander increased across North America and Europe because we went to Japan. We will yeah. be in touch, Commander. And now they want us to go to the Situation Room. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, well, what do we get? We already have one over Brazil. Um, can we launch a satellite? Okay. Um, yeah, we can launch one. Should we put it over France or the U.S.? If we send it to France, we get more scientists per month. Yeah. If we send it to the U.S., we get a scientist and an engineer per month. I think that's a better one. This one? Yeah. Okay, it's here you go. not as many, but you get both of what you need. And we actually get ten credits more, too. Yeah. Sorry, France! Screw you, friends. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to be mean to anybody. No, don't be mean. <laughs> I'm not going to. I promise. Warning: No interceptor is stationed in North we'll America. Contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. We have no interceptors in range, so it doesn't matter if we detect them if we don't have any interceptors to shoot down alien spacecraft. So how do we get interceptors? Uh, it's tricky. Okay. All right. Either way, we invested our. Satellites. We can also Several visit the gray market the if we need quick cash. An interest in acquiring some of the However, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. However, we should be careful in choosing. And here you can look at our list. finances. The research team. 110 value yet. versus our income 425, so we get 315 a month, which is not bad. All right, we have to be careful about how we invest I'm our money now. a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Indeed, Dr. Fallen. <laughs> All right, so with Xenobiology, four days, Anyone that'll be done. This okay. morning, Commander. We're oh, you need to build a satellite up. I need one more engineer. Mm. We can still only build satellites and medkits. Okay. All right, um... Well, we could build a workshop. Yeah, we need a little Wait, don't... Oh, wait, we don't have enough money. Uh, so we should do another mission. Yeah, I suppose so. So let's get uh, back to the situation room. Well, not the situation room, the actual mission room. And get scanning. Excavation complete. So they finished excavating, that's fun. Xenobiology! Ooh. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Xenobiology complete. Woo! Sign new research. Capture a live alien. That's our new objective. Mm -hmm. Alien containment available for construction. And this is some flavor text saying, hey, we can take alien captives now. We can also build an alien containment center. That's fun. Let's see, in terms of things we can now research, we can research an arc thrower, which is what we need in order to capture the aliens. It's basically a giant taser. We can also research weapon fragments, alien materials, or do a sectoid autopsy. However, because we are in South America and we have ways, 
Yeah. It is instantaneous. Of course you are. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. That was kind of gross. Yep. Uplink targeting aim available for manufacture. Cloning genetic manipulation, manipulation, excuse me, biomedical implants. The implications of this technology and the alien's motives are not reassuring. And we can do uplink targeting aim, which helps our interceptors aim more accurately with the use of satellites. And, well, we can do normal research or we can get to work building an arc thrower. Whatever you want. Well, this is what we need to do, so I guess we'll get to work on the priority uh, project, even if it is at a slow rate. This project. technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Thank you, Dr. Volin. All right, let's go back to engineering. Can we build anything new? No. Well, we can get one of these to make our interceptors more likely to shoot down yeah, increase their cheap. accuracy. Yeah, you know, we could do that with some of our sectoid corpses. How many can we make? Just one. Yeah, whatever. So we built one of those. Um, we can build another satellite, but we're already doing no, that. No, you need to build a new uplink first. Oh, that's true. So you need money right now. So uh, and we are short one engineer in order to actually build another satellite uplink. Yeah. Oh, we also need to build an alien containment area. I think we'll build that right here. Or no, if we're building satellite uplinks, they should all be near each other, because yeah. it gives a synergy bonus. So I suppose we'll build it... right here? Yeah, it seems. Okay. Alien containment is going there. Yes, do it. Work crews on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Okay, that sounds good. And we're kind of out of money now for our monthly funding, so we're just gonna have to, uh... Go back to mission control and see if we can find anything new or fun. Yes, you need to build satellites. Satellites, satellite. it's like no joke. Super cool. Uh oh, we've got a UFO contact here in Brazil. Scramble interceptors. Well, we've got two of them. Let's send Raven One. You can do it, Raven One. I don't think I can, but they could try. Oh, I don't know. We'll use our satellite uplink that we built to help them aim better. Mm. Go get them! We have eyes on the bandit. Alright, use your aim! Satellite Next two shots will hit the target. Alright, shoot some more. Keep shooting! Good job! Oh wow! Interceptor shot down the target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. Interceptor sustained light damage in the encounter. Good job! Central, this yeah. is 437. We have a confirmed kill on Phoebe 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Okay. Still in one piece despite being shot down. Aliens. Aliens. Yeah, you're right. Well, we've got, uh, actual classes now. Let's see how many we actually have. But first... If you're not going to be there, you're not carrying a med kit, so... Eh, have a generic grenade. Because they're unlimited. Hmm. Alright, clear this guy. Who else do we have? Oh, you we also have... Heavy. Yeah, we're definitely bringing all of our actual trained troops. So right now we have a heavy, a sniper, and two supports. Do you need two supports? I think maybe you should bring in a, an assault. Well, this support should obviously keep the med kit, because they always yeah. need one. What's the other one? An assault? Yeah. Please. Oh, the Chinese guy. Yeah. Alright, he's got a shotgun grenades, he's got a assault rifle grenades. We've got a support and a sniper with a medkit. Does that work? 
Um, maybe Most we should have basic at least classes. one more med kit. Um, okay, for who? Whichever. I Just guess the heavy. That's a good idea. Yeah, he already has a rocket. Yeah. Because he's a heavy. So we'll give him the med kit then. Alright, sounds good. Launch mission. That was easy. Begin like right there. Yeah. Let's begin Brazilian the assault. authorities have requested our help. So that's where we're going next. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Probably not. Well, let's hope they're smart. Ooh, the moon is full. It's time for an alien showdown. Woo! Good luck. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. Did she see an alien over there? I think so. Alright, let's move forward. Why do you put them on Overwatch? Like that. Yeah. Alright, our runner and gunner, let's put him behind a tree. Let's stump. Positive enemy contact. Oh, there they are. Alright, our heavy gunner. Looks like there's decent cover here for them. Let's put them on Overwatch. Let's see what the aliens try. Ho ho! Fire time! One damage! He didn't put it on more than so. That is true, that's why it's doing so little sometimes. Yeah. Hopefully that actually applies for the aliens as well, so that might save our bacon. I hope so. I don't know. Well, anything that makes combat less lethal is more advantageous for the player, considering that the player's team is going to be fighting a lot more than any given alien with the world. Yeah. Alright, try to shotgun that guy. Well, hey. that worked. <laughs> That's why shotguns are fun, kids. Alright, uh, well, we don't seem to have a shot at him, however, we can move up near to partial cover. Take a shot at him. Hello. He's down. Or miss. Adjusting All right. sights. All right, can our sniper pick him off? Let's go with headshot. Come on, you can do it, Nishimura. Or not. That is not the snipers tend to disappoint me in this game. Hmm. Your last one wasn't that good either. That is true. All right, let's move over here. Try to get a flanking shot on this sucker. Take him out. Oh yeah! Wee -wee. Wee -wee. <laughs> you are lit dead. Alright, so let's move up. We're behind the tree. Trees seem to make for excellent cover. Apparently. Yes. There needs to be some overwatch going on. Are you moving everybody twice? Moving everyone twice. Um. Trying to get to the high ground. Does that mean we hear them over there? Hmm. Suspicious. Alright, well let's move these people up first. You're gonna go here. And go on overwatch. Old shotgunny. He's gonna move over there. Go oh, okay, that's enough for him, apparently. Can he move up here? Yes. But no, nothing spotted yet. Hmm. Maybe they're sneaking up behind you. I hope not. Me too. Alright, and you can go up there. We should also do okay. Snipers can't on their turn unless you get a special yeah. upgrade. That sucks. Shh. You hear that? Oh. <gasps> Gasp, it's aliens! Oh man, who would have thought they'd be here at their spaceship? Yeah, especially on the satellite when you saw movement. And where the hell are they? Apparently they're not here. They're playing a really intense game of hide and seek and you just happen to show up in the middle of it. Mm, so we're kind of 
raining on their parade, aren't we? Yeah. That's that's kind of rude of us, really. Totally. So rude. All right, so let's move up into cover. Good job, Chang. All right, now Misaki here. Let's um. I don't know. Go over there. <laughs> Look important and reload. Oh yeah. <laughs> She sounds a bit too excited about that, I gotta say. A little bit, yeah. That's a little worrying. Aliens are making that noise. Several groups of aliens. You hear that? Yeah, it's a pretty safe bet they're around here somewhere. Alright, we need to get our sniper in great cover. And that looks like great cover, so we're gonna move them there. And we're gonna tell them to hunker down and wait for a shot. Alright, our, um, I don't think this is our support. Whatever, he's gonna move up. Try his plot. Our readings can't be right. If so far, that's a being of almost pure energy. Interesting. Fancy. Alright, well, in that case, can we give him, um, uh, almost pure lead? You could try. Not a good shot, but whatever. Apparently we can. All right, good job. That was not nearly as scary as it could have been. <laughs> uh oh, here come the other critters. The sick toys. <gasps> What's making that noise? What do you think? You you just saw them. <laughs> Like, you really just, I, I just saw them. I don't know what's making that noise. Well, apparently this guy has a shot. Go ahead. Or not. Oh, I need to sort of out time. Alright. Can he be rushed by Chen Gao? We could try that. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Crazy Chinaman incoming. Rawr, running gun. Impact like that at such a velocity. Hello. Materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an yeah. order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Yes, thank you. They're alien. Don't expect us to know anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe, can you do co- oh no, you're out of ammo. Mm -hmm. What about you, sniper person? It's pretty unlikely you're gonna be able to hit them from here, but... Hey, whatever, try it. Overwatch. Well, the alien's gonna try to move around and flank. Did he have a shot at anybody? No, he did a double move. Aha! Sniper gets a shot after Yay! all. Come on, Ishimura! One damage! <laughs> Winched him! Nicked his arm. That's right. Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> Indeed. Well, you can try to redeem yourself here with a headshot. Come on, Ishimura, you can do it. Or not. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's try to get our rookie a kill. So he can maybe become a, an actual boss. Nope. Oh wait, no, he's a support. That's a I forgot kill. about that. Alright, we're gonna have to rely on our crazy Chinese shotgunner, aren't we? Yeah, he is awesome. Yep. Hi there, my name's awesome Chen Gao. Facial hair. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Good Doesn't night. even match his hair color. Chop, chop Anybody else notice this? Chuck up another one. Oh yeah. Nice job. Nobody even got scratched in that one. These aliens are taking it easy on us. Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, okay, we're landing. We get it. Your fancy landing. Mm. Oh, landing. Our troops really came through on this one. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. Oh, thank you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Bob. Alright, okay. Uh, we can promote Nishimura to a corporal. We can either choose Snapshot, which removes the sniper rifle's restriction on firing and overwatch after moving. Hmm. Any shots taken suffer a negative 20 aim penalty. Or Squad Sight, allows the firing at targets in any ally's sight radius. Um, honestly, if she's having accuracy issues to begin with, you might not want to make it worse. <laughs> yeah, but this will allow her to basically move and shoot or move and overwatch. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with that. Alright, and he becomes a Corporal 2. He gets more defense per enemy in sight radius, up to 20. Hmm. Or he gets more aggression, gives him a higher chance to critical hit. 
to um, 30. Both of them sound good. It depends if you want to be aggressive or offensive. So, I mean, defensive. Well, this will this will more likely keep him alive. This will allow him to finish off enemies quicker. Honestly, he's doing pretty good. You might want to keep him alive. Yeah, okay. Let's give him uh, smarts so he knows how to get down and avoid fire. All right, nobody got hurt. We got an alien ant, computer, corpses, illyrium, alien alloys, weapon fragments, flight computers, and a damaged power source. Sweet. All right. Now there are. I believe Dr. Vaughn expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece, much less alive. Oh come on! It's not that big a stretch. All right, some of these things that you can sell because they have no research benefit, like this one. Yay, money! However, other stuff we should definitely keep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Okay. So. We need to build a satellite uplink. Don't have the money yet. So research continues onward. Actually, there's one thing that we forgot to check out. That's the hmm. hangar. Oh, yeah. We have two ships. We should probably well, transfer one of them to another base. Oh, to North America. To we have a Transfer to, to North America. America. Confirm. From here, you can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. Good job. All right, so it'll be three days before they actually get there, and we're working on our alien containment facility. It's done! Nancy! How do you put the alien containment facility online? I don't know. <laughs> so, can we build something else now? Uh, no. We've got our alien containment facility, and we want to put our satellite on planks here. Yeah. Okay. So let's... What are we doing? I Keep guess... Scanning. Yeah, I suppose we should. We don't really have enough money right now. Our, our ship made it to North America. Our arc thrower is complete. Awesome. Yay! Arc thrower available for manufacture. Non-lethal sidearm designed to stun hostile targets. Okay, now we can work on more research. We can either work on a nav computer, which will take a long time, 20 yeah. days. We could do on alien materials or weapon fragments. Um, why not weapons? Okay. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Thank you, Dr. Valen. All right, now can we build these uh, arc throwers? Yes, we can build one. Submit. Then we need to save money because you need satellites. Well, our money will come in uh, on the next. Commander, oh. our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are okay. ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay. Um, well, we can't really deploy it until we build another satellite uplink. Yep. But at least we have one in reserve for when we need it. Scanning. We're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on screen. Okay. Council of One. Council mission, target escort. We received an interesting report that a politician from the United Kingdom who once advocated cooperation with the aliens has now come under attack. We'd like you to retrieve this man alive so that we may speak with him. <laughs> we will transmit the specific details of his position to Central. For rewards, we'll get a new recruit, support sergeant, and panic reduction. Okay. Let's do it. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. All right, now there's one thing I want to be careful about. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. Yeah, you have another support you can still try. That is true. But however, when supports get to, like, sergeant class, yeah. they get a... or is it lieutenant rank? I don't know, they get a big bonus where they can use a lot more med kits. Okay. Um... Well, your sniper's not doing so great, so you can always swap her out for a little bit. Yeah. No, it's more important to get people high enough ranking first. Oh, okay, whatever you want. All right, I'm going to edit this unit and clear them out by giving them the body armor. All right, and I also want to get the arc thrower going. So that should probably be given to our assaulting guy, considering he's good at getting close to people and zapping them. All right, we've got our medikit for our sniper. We've got, we're going to use someone else for this. Like anybody else, they need a class. 
And we're gonna give another person here. So we'll strip him of his med kit. Give him a generic mid. Clear him out, and then pick somebody else. Donna Jackson. Hmm. All right, and they should obviously have med kits so that they don't die. It's always important to have med kits. I think at this stage they only heal four health, but that can be the difference between life and death. We have only six health. Yeah. All right, so um, there you go. I'm not trying to make fun of this game or anything, but why do all of the women look super butch? Because they're soldiers. Okay, but there's plenty of not. Well, this is an American. Okay. Get some of them butch American lesbians here. <laughs> All right. Apparently, we are off to save the United Kingdom. The next deployment Please. site is in the places. UK. Escort the target to the extraction point. Okay. These usually involve lots of screaming. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> the VIP for this operation goes by the name of William Thorne. He's an influential politician suspected of collusion with the aliens. Oh, collusion! We to bring him in alive for questioning. Questioning. Get him to the Sky Ranger for evac. <laughs> New objective received. Alright, well, obviously this schmuck is this gonna is have absurd. to hide. Do you honestly think I would turn my back on my country? I am not a traitor, damn it! Yeah. So you move to the cover and get your head down. Alright, meanwhile, everyone else will move around and try to look at fish. Seems oddly quiet. Seems oddly cold in here. Oh, you. <laughs> it became winter last week all of a sudden. Yes, it did. Quite abruptly. That's kind of how winter works here. Yep. Sure does. Alright, so let's put our guys on Overwatch. Is there any place we can move forward where they'll actually have cover? Yeah, it looks like this person will. No! Uh -oh. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Looks like we've seen another type of alien as well. Yeah, hmm. well, we'll try to bring it back alive. No promises. No promises at all. I wonder if there's a way to actually get up there. It doesn't look like it. It's kind of a problem. Alright, well, your job is going to be to move over here. You have no right to do this! I work for the people! On whose authority do you operate? The people? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's hide Schmucky here, back behind the, these crates. Oh no, don't get shot! Whoa. Oh, hey, he <laughs> followed my advice! Good for him! <laughs> nice work! Good ducking! <laughs> All right. Stay on Overwatch. Person in the foundry. Uh, oof, running off in that direction might be really dangerous. Um, let's go over here. I mean, do you actually need to kill all the aliens, or just get him to the? We just need to get him to the Sky Ranger. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get our sniper in decent cover our sniper or assault guy. Well, we could just try to shoot it, because we're not really in a situation to shock it. Yeah, maybe he'll come down there. Or maybe, yeah. if we get him to move over here, yeah, he could theoretically climb up that ladder and surprise it. We could try. We could definitely try that. As long as we're close enough to the building, the alien actually can't get the drop on us. Which is good. I'm gonna put this person on overwatch. I will not speak to anyone until I'm given proper legal representation. Okay. We'll we'll be sure to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we totally believe in the law around here. Yep, not like aliens are invading. Nope. 